We study alternative energy because we all believe that the world is worth preserving. Much of the world's beauty comes from the way that light interacts with our surroundings. This is what we study at the LMI EFRC, understanding and controlling how light interacts with matter. In the process, we find beauty in the interactions of light with both natural and engineered materials. There is a hidden world, a deeper, more complex beauty that is only revealed when you look closer. We explore this rich visual landscape in the process of designing light harvesting devices. In a solar cell, we want to absorb the light coming from the sun. But if the solar cell is too thin, it comes right back out. To solve this problem, we use spheres made of glass, so that when sunlight goes into the spheres, it gets trapped until it gets absorbed into the solar cell. We design these structures with complex computer simulations where we get to watch the light interact and dance with the spheres. This beautiful behavior is described by only a few simple equations called Maxwell's equations, which govern how light interacts with our world. Imagine that we remove most of the material in this typical solar cell, leaving ourselves with a forest of thin wires that uses a lot less material. It turns out that we can actually absorb more light with this forest of thin wires than we can using all the material that's in a traditional solar cell. This allows us to build flexible, lower cost solar cells while maintaining a high efficiency. Depending on how we arrange these tiny wires, we can control the light differently to scatter, trap, or diffract the input light as we wish. Nature gives us materials with the optical properties that we're all familiar with, such as refraction, imaging, and visibility. Metamaterials allow us to access properties not found in nature. These fields allow us to play tricks with light impossible otherwise, such as bending the light the wrong way, super resolution imaging, and invisibility cloaking. We developed a concept of artificially designed material we call the Resonant Guided Wave Networks. In this structure, the optical properties are designed at will by changing the network geometry. The structure here is storing the light with rich dynamics. Light is what teaches us, what informs us, what guides us through our successes and our failures. Light is also what can save us from a problem that is constantly growing, growing alongside our appreciation of the world, as we constantly look closer, recognizing a deeper beauty and deeper reasons to keep working towards a solution. <laughs>